I was just uh, adjusting the countdown clock on my time machine. I haven't tested it yet, but I think it's ready for our maiden voyage to help us answer today's milk mail by Omar F. from Minneapolis, Minnesota. He asks, how does milk go from the farm to my glass? Well, that's a marvelous question, Omar. And to answer it, we're gonna have to take this gallon of milk back in time 48 hours, because that's how long on average it takes milk to get from the farm to the table. Before we go, gotta protect the thinking sack. Everyone ready? On average, cows can produce about six gallons of milk per day, which is about 2,100 gallons per year. Enough milk to make you say, holy cow! That's more than 67,000 milkshakes. Mmm, milkshakes. Here we go again. After the farm, milk is brought to the dairy to undergo pasteurization, a heating process developed by the French scientist, Louis Pasteur. Thanks, or merci to Pasteur. Milk can stay good in our refrigerators for several weeks. Once milk is pasteurized and bottled, it's delivered directly to the dairy aisle, where parents can pick up a gallon for their families. Hey, it's me. I look so much younger. You better put that milk in the fridge. You're gonna want a fresh cold glass later. Wow. I can't believe the time machine worked. I knew it was gonna. Our final stop in our journey from farm to glass is, well, the glass. All that time travel sure does make me thirsty. It's time to enjoy an ice cold, delicious, nutritious glass of milk. Well, that's all the time we have. Unless we go back in time. Never mind. Glass dismissed. Thank <laughs> you.